Hello everyone, this is Kathleen and I am here today to show you this pretty travel journal. I am excited about this, even though I don't have anywhere to go. I hope someone does. I would love to take this with me if I were to travel. Uh, the journal is eight and three quarters by five and a half inches and it has a one inch spine with two signatures. It's a recycled book. Um, 39 steps. You'll end up taking more than 39 steps if you go traveling this summer, but um, I really loved this, the print on this pretty book cloth, and so it just inspired me, I guess, to make this vintage travel journal. I've done a collage here on the front and used this pretty vintage uh, leather button and a beaded elastic closure. Let's go inside. It has um, two signatures, as I said, 96 pages. And here in the front just has some handmade ephemera journaling papers. I just distressed this photo of some vintage travelers to Egypt, the pyramids. And this is a uh, a luggage claim ticket or a tag of some kind Amsterdam and fits in this little peekaboo pocket here on the corner my favorite book page um, book for for harvesting book pages I love this architectural illustration just use some lace here on the side here is a little tuck spot here in the corner. Plenty of room, lots of pockets and tucks to collect postcards and other papers and itineraries and tickets and so on. Here's a little religious medal that I found in a button box that I have clipped onto this paper clip. This is some vintage ephemera journaling papers. You can write on that and this is a nice um, vintage postcard from 1946. Wow, 1946, and a postcard went for one cent. Hmm, that's nice. Some journaling papers, little side pocket here, holding this vintage check. Plenty of room to journal on that. An airmail envelope. Vintage. It's kind of worn out. But I have created a little pocket for the journal out of that. This is from a sari. An Indian sari. Beautiful. And um, a picture of an Asian temple next to this beautiful green map. Love that. It's an original map. It's a pretty digital print of um, from Pixabay. I got a lot of images off of Pixabay this time. Just a journaling card. Pocket on this side. This is just a digital print of an, a Victor of an ad, Edwardian probably. Uh, motor cars. So veils and motor scarfs. This is held together with uh, some tape that I distressed and aged. i tuck that in that pocket. This is from a book on the opera. And oh, I love this. I found some vintage stationery from different hotels around the world, and I've included two different ones in this travel journal. This one is the Paramount Hotel in Freetown, Sierra Leone. That would be in Africa. And, um, and just a, a pocket with the doily embellishment. And of course, no matter where we go, home is always fun to come back to. A little bit of collage there. This is a beautiful digital print, just a pattern from 
Pixby and um, collage embellishment there. This is from a vintage book. Just a landscape, maybe on a hike or a road trip. Lots of room to journal on the back of that. Some distressed, embossed um, French design there with this Eiffel Tower. A little bit of ticket and a stamp. Just a, a card that I made. Oops, the other part of that stationery. Another little digital pocket. Some vintage stamps. This is also um, vintage. You can see the embossing on that. It's some stationery. Beautiful. This is just a little bit of a journaling paper that I made. You can just keep track of things. Um, embossed or some texture paste. Love this tuck here with this some antiques tatting. A little bit of embellishment there. Here's the other side of that vintage airmail envelope. It can also be a pocket. Here's another of the, the vintage hotel stationery. This one is from Paris. spoke French, I would try to say where it was, but I don't speak French. A little bit of a clip here to hold this different papers. Um, this is an, a library card catalog. with A little bit of a tag on it from a book called The Beach House. Oh, would you love to spend some time at a beach house? I would. I think. Pretty fibers there. Just another little handmade ephemera card. This pocket. And this is another vintage advertising. When touring, do not forget to stop for lunch at Boyden's on Main Street in Northampton, Massachusetts. That would be nice. <laughs> embellishment there. Another tuck spot. This is a, a vintage um, train station. Just, I found that image on Pixabee as well. Some more ephemera to keep track of. This is some hand embossing and I've just distressed the edges and Sanded that a little bit. This is a pocket here in this little candy bag. Just some hand dyed paper to journal on. Isn't that a beautiful pattern? And this is one of my vain fret images. Oh gosh, I love the image of this woman. And I just put this lace and it back on. I did a video about embellishing journal cards, digital journal cards. You can look for that on my channel. This is the other part of that train station. Some vintage eyelet lace. Just a simple collage tag. And some fibers that I spun together on this silk ruffle. This is also some antique hand crocheted lace trim. A little bit of map on this page. And finally, I was inspired by Kate, my daughter-in-law. Kate's Junk Journals. She 
had a tutorial on making these dangling tags on a string, she called it. And um, I really thought that was cute. You can just tie all kinds of things on there, things that maybe don't fit otherwise. This is a slide, a vintage slide. I think it's Edinburgh, yeah, in Scotland. And I have put just a little bit of glossy accents on that tag. And finally, just a bow on the last page. And that's the end. So this journal will be listed on my Etsy. And so you can go take a look there if you're interested. And if you go on a trip, gosh, I hope you have fun. Thanks for being with me today.